dual blades are the high elemental lightweight weapons and today on this video I'm going to show you some of my own builds. Greeting Hunters and welcome back. Dual Blade features a unique moveset and combo. It is well known for being lightweight and a relatively simple to use weapon. Most of them has cool design and attack moves. So most of the builds is shown here are elemental builds. I'm sure you all know how to use a dual blade so I'm not keep going go about it. So I'm just gonna crack on with the video. And with that in mind, let's show you my first build. This build is more stamina focused build. With the demon mood, you're nearly never going to run out of stamina, so you can focus on more DPS. Let's have a look at the weapon. For this build, I'm using Surface Hellclaws with the attack of 392, white sharpness, affinity of 35%, elemental fire damage of 120. As to upgrade the weapon, I've used Two affinity increase level five, one attack increase level five, Belkana Div divinity, and sharpness increase six. And as for augmentation, I use affinity increase level one and health region uh, level one. Now let's have a look at the armors I'm using for this build. They are Rhyme Guard Helm Beta, Golden Lunar Mill Beta, Golden Lunar Braces Beta, Tentacle Coil Beta, Tentacle Graves Beta and I'm using Blaze Charm level 3. I'm using two pieces of Gold Rothian armor to get Divine Blessing all the way to level 5, two pieces of Namio armor to get Elemental Acceleration, one piece of Falcona armor mixed with the Falcona Divinity in my weapon to get Critical Element Bonus. And of course you can use whatever mantle and boosters you like to use and different charms according to your Elemental weapon. As per jewels, I'm using one blaze level 4 jewel to get fire attack to level 5. You can use different uh, different jewels for your own element. Three tenderizer jewels for weakness exploit to level 3. One recovery jewel 4 and one recovery jewel 1 to get nice recovery speed to level 3. Three vitality jewel to get the health bar all the way to level 3. Three sprinter or Physic Jewel level 4 to have Constitution level 5 and Marathon Rara level 3. So if you put everything together the skills we'll have are Fire Attack level 5 to increase our Fire Attack all the way to 230, Constitution level 5, Constitution reduce Stamina Depletion when performing any Stamina training moves, Divine Blessing level 5 which upon its activation normally when monsters hit you will take less damage up to 60% Helpers level 3 simply gives you more health on your bar Recovery speed level 3 This skill heals you 4 times faster if you have any recoverable damage like a red bar on your health bar Marathon runner level 3 slows down stamina depletion for moves that continuously drain stamina and lastly stamina surge level 3 to speed up the st um, stamina recovery so with all together as a set bonus skill we have gold ruffian essence with two set of, go uh, two set of gold ruffian skill brings divine blessing to level 5 so you can absorb up to 60% of damage namio divinity two set of namio armor set that gives you element acceleration for elemental damage Valkana Divinity two set of Valkana armor set bonuses that gives you critical element skill to boost critical elemental damage after we put everything together we'll have attack of 392 uh, sharpness of white 35% affinity 230 fire elemental attack defense of 833. This build is strong against water, ice and dragon and have weakness against fire and thunder. Of course all builds have 
strong and weak points. This build is more stamina focused, so you'll never run off stamina and some decent attacks and elemental attacks. But not as much DPS focused, very weak against fire and thunder. Now let's move on to the, our second build. And for this build, uh, the weapon I'm using is Reunius Decimation, which have a full attack of 406. Uh, white sharpness bar all the way to the top, affinity of 10%, dragon elemental attack of 180, high elder seal, and as augmentation I have used affinity increase level 1 and health region increase level 1. As for armors, I have used fell shard helm beta, golden loom mail beta, fell shard braces beta, sarah invelder coil beta, Golden Lune Graves Beta and Worm Spain Charm 5. With this build, you can run around like a god where you'll barely take any damage from the monsters, or you can go AFK and nothing will happen to you, as you'll have two set of Golden Ruffian skill to get Divine Blessing all the way to level 5, and two set of Valhazak set bonus for the super recovery. It will continuously heal you if you are not even doing anything out there and just stand there you will not get killed. As for jewels, I'm using one protection level 1 jewel, one tenderizer protection level 4 to have divine blessing level 5, one vitality jewel to have nice health boost to level 3, two sprinter physic le uh, jewel level 4 to have marathon runner level 3, and constitution level 2. One recovery level 1 and one recovery level 4 jewel for the recovery speed to level 3. One follow less jewel level 2 to have the peak performance level 3. And lastly one dragon jewel to have dragon attack all the way to level 6. So if you put everything together the skill will have is dragon attack level 6 to increase dragon elemental damage, divine blessing level 5, with that you'll have around 60% less damage than normal damage. When a monster hit you, you'll get 60% less damage. Health boost level 3, your health bar will be 4 all the way. Recovery up level 3, that increases the amount of health bar when restoring health. Recovery speed level 3, which speeds up the healing of your recoverable damage, the red bar of your health bar. Weakness Exploit level 3 increases the affinity if you hit monster's weak point. Peak Performance level 3 gives you more attack up to 20 if your health bar is full. And for this build, you should have full bar all the way for most of your hunting times. Then we'll have Marathon Runner level 3, slow stun stamina depletion on moves that continuously drain stamina. Constitution level 2 reduces stamina depletion when do certain moves and you'll have attack level 1. For having all those different set of armors, we'll have a bonus set skills. And they are Gold Rathian Essence, which increases your divine, uh, divine Blessing to level 5, take up to 60% less damage. This comes from the two set of Gold Rathian armor. Val Solven gives you super recovery, uh, combining with recovery up and recovery speed skills, and health regen from the weapon which definitely will make you feel immortal. Having all the weapons, armors and skill together, we will have attack of 410, sharpness level all the way to the white, affinity 10%, element 320, elder seal high, and massive defense of 989. This build is weak against thunder and ice, but very strong against fire, water and dragon. This build has the best survivability, good attack and elemental damage. High Elder Seal gives you attack boost for Elder Dragons. A little bit of weakness against some elements. But that's about all the weaknesses this build might have. And last but not least, my amazing 100% affinity build. Where I'm using Safi weapon. As I said, all these builds are endgame builds and this build is not possible without a Safi weapon. This build is not a comfortable build as 
build is more kind of DPS focused and less defense elements in it. And with that in mind, let's have a look at our weapon first. I'm using Safi's Hellclaws with the attack of 378, white sharpness, already have 60% affinity, fire element of 120. I, I've used three affinity increase level five, one affinity increase level six, and Vulcana Divinity to upgrade this weapon. And as for augmentation, I've used one affinity increase level one and a health region level one. For armors, I'm using Rhyme Guard Helm Beta, Kaiser Mail Beta, Kaiser Vambrace Beta, Kaiser Coil Beta, Gruga Graves Beta, and Attack Charm Level 5. And having this combination of armor will help me to get the bonus skills of Master Touch and Critical Element. This combined with 100% affinity will have 100% chance of boosting elemental damage. As per jewels, I'm using two blaze level four and two blaze level one to bring bring up the fire attack to level six. One tenderizer protection jewel level four and one tenderizer level two to have divine blessing level three and the only defensive skill for this build and weakness exploit level three. One sharp jewel two for protective polish to keep good sharpness of the weapon for you up to 90 seconds. One expert level 4, one expert level 1 jewel to make the critical eye all the way to level 7. Then three critical jewel level 2 to have a critical boost to level 3. Two sprint and expert jewel to get critical eye to highest level and marathon runner to level 2. So altogether the skills we'll have is critical eye to level 7. Critical Eye increase the affinity where you'll have more chance to do critical damage. In this case, you have 100% chance. Fire Attack to level 6. This will help boosting the elemental damage. Attack Boost to level 5 gives you more attack plus 5 extra affinity. Critical Boost to level 3 increases all critical damages. Weakness Exploit to level 3 increases the affinity if you hit monsters weak points. Divine Blessing to level 3. It will take less damage from the monsters to help you to survive. Blast Attack to level 2. Not needed in this build as it comes default with the armors. Marathon Runner level 2. Reduces stamina depletion on moves that continuously drain stamina. You'll have Heat Guard level 1. Helps nullifies all heat damage from environment, surface Eva. Teostra and Lunastra, Aura and Flames comes default with armor. Latent power is not relevant to our builds either, it comes default. Protective polish level 1 uh, that will help restoring your sharpness uh, for a weapon for about 90 seconds after you sharpen your weapon. And with all the armors together, you'll have some set bonus skill. Which are Teostra Technic from free set of Teostra armors that gives you Master Touch. With all the critical hits, with this skill we will prevent your weapon from losing sharpness during all critical hits. Vulcana Divinity from two set of Vulcana armor that gives you critical element skill which boosts the critical elemental damage. This build made totally for DPS in mind so this is not a comfortable build but will help you demolish the monster faster. And having all the weapons and armors put together, you'll have attack of 399, white sharpness, 100% affinity, 240 fire elemental damage, defense of 897, it's very weak against water and ice, but strong against fire, thunder and dragon. So guys, there you have it. Hopefully my videos were helpful and you have enjoyed it. If you think I deserve a like or a comment, please do so and please subscribe as that will help my channel. Thank you for watching.